Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about the altcoin casino. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Make no mistake about it, we have seen these market conditions before. It's the same thing every single time. I feel like we have officially entered into altcoin casino mania. This is the phase where things just start pumping like crazy. You could see things pump because of news of listing on exchanges, okay? So be on the lookout for that. Some of the coins we follow, maybe they'll be listed on other exchanges and that could cause them to pump. Coins we don't follow, might you might see those get listed on certain exchanges, those could cause them to pump. You might also see coins just pump because of, you know, theoretical barriers or maybe you know some type of technical analysis right the idea of, of dot bitcoin emulating uh what ether bitcoin did a long time ago right so i mean these these types of moves are are things we have seen many many times and when we get to this phase the the hardest part the hardest part is there's so much new money there's so many new people i'm getting contacted by so many people saying you know, I have, I'm new to the space. I have this much money. What should I do with it? I, I can't tell you guys what to do with it. It's, I don't offer financial advice and I certainly can't tell you one-on-one -on -one what you should do with your money. What I can say right now is that we are currently in altcoin casino mode, okay? And chasing pumping coins is dangerous. A, a lot of times what'll happen, and if you find yourself in this scenario, you need to think critically about what you're doing. A lot of times what can happen is you see a coin pumping, you don't have any exposure to anything in crypto, you go chase it, you FOMO in, uh, maybe you go all in, and then that coin corrects by 10% because by the time it got your attention, it's already, you know, it was already up a lot, and then you get scared because you've come in, you put yourself at a huge disadvantage by coming in as it's pumping, and then you, you capitulate out and then you chase another coin that's pumping. And then when you sell, then the coin that you originally went, on, went in on now starts going back up. And then the new coin starts going back down. This is a dangerous game. That is a dangerous game to play. I do not recommend playing that game. Um, this is not financial advice, of course, but I would not recommend playing that game. As I said earlier, one of the things you can do is, is try to find coins that are kind of chilling out. Uh, am I entering the market right now? Hell no. This is this is not this type of market is not fueled by any type of rational investing. This is, as I said, uh, more akin to an altcoin casino. Um, and so, uh, you know, I, I think what what we're likely to see continue happen. We'll, we'll likely continue to see a lot of coins put in major gains. Uh, but if you get into that habit of chasing coins constantly then you could stand to lose a decent amount because you always end up chasing the next pump rather than simply trying to get a coin that isn't doing much of anything and letting the pump come to you. Now, when I say coins that are not doing much of anything, you cannot take that to mean that any coin that's been created that's not moving will move. A lot of coins will not move. We've seen that before. There were a lot of coins that pumped in 2013 that didn't do anything, much of anything in 2017 or 2018. There's going to be coins from 2017 and 2018 that don't do anything now or anything later. There's going to be coins pumping today that we never hear about in say two or three years. Like people won't even know what they are. So these phases, they they pop up in crypto every, you know, every so often. They come and go. It's an altcoin casino, it's not rational investing. If you guys follow this channel long enough, you'll know what that looks like. It was buying these coins when it was the bear market. It was buying them in the accumulation phase. If you're new money to the space, you probably don't like hearing this, but sometimes I feel like you, know, you just need to hear things that maybe you don't wanna hear. Um, it does not mean that a lot of these coins will not continue to go up. The main coins that I follow now are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, and Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, Ada, and Dot. Those are the main five I've been following for a long time. We also added Avalanche to that as well. Okay, I hope Dot is able to emulate Ethereum's move in 2020 or in 2015, 2016, and continue to break out against Bitcoin. Exactly what it like, exactly how Ethereum did, but probably with diminished returns. I hope to see ADA pump past a dollar and go higher to 138 and maybe $2, maybe 250. I wanna see Link 
go for $40. I mean, you know, a $30 link is great and all, but I feel like I would like a $40 link more. But I can say this because I, you know, we were talking about these on the channel a while back, right? We were, we were, we were doing it, we were coming into the market, I was coming into the market before this phase happened. So if you're coming in now, I'm just saying, you're more so treating it like an altcoin casino. It doesn't mean you can't make money. It doesn't mean you can't make money. It also doesn't mean you can't lose a lot of money, okay? So I would say to be careful, uh, by FOMOing into pumps, you're coming in um, from a point of weakness, not strength. The people who have the strength in this market are the people who bought 90% ago, right? When the coin was worth 10% of its current valuation. These are the people with strength strength because they can move the market. You know, if, if, if you have all these investors who are up 10x, 100x, and they start selling, they can move the market. And it can spook the people that are coming in now. And then if they see it drop by 10, 20%, it spooks them because they're already at a loss. Whereas the people who are buying 11 months ago, I mean, you could the, the prices could crash 50% and, and you're still well above your cost basis, right? So, I mean, Link was at eight bucks just like two months ago. Um, we're, I mean, we're looking at a 4X on Link in a very short period of time. Uh, the same thing with Dot. I mean, it was at $3 a very short period ago, uh, th between three, $4 or so, and now it's at $30. So these coins, the momentum is driving them up. The momentum of the Bitcoin dominance is taking it down. Bitcoin dominance goes down while Bitcoin price stays constant. This is huge for altcoin. This is what this can what really get altcoins moving quickly. Okay, and I think the dominance could stand to come down uh, much further than it currently is. I, I sort of, as I said before, I would anticipate an Ethereum tsunami at some point in the next few weeks. Could be soon, could be weeks away. But I imagine that this type of Ethereum move, so what'll, what will, my opinion is what will likely happen, that some people, I see that the trap they fall into, is they come into the market, they buy Ethereum, because that's, you know, you buy Bitcoin, you buy Ethereum, and then you see they're not doing much of anything, okay? And then what happens? What's the natural mindset? Oh, all these other coins are pumping, let me buy those. And then you keep chasing the pumps, and then it keeps not working out. And people take those profits back to Bitcoin, back to Ethereum, and back to fiat. Okay, and then the altcoins that you that you want, you know, they'll keep some of them will keep going up, some of them will come back down. Uh, but then you 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 slowly are leaving your your safer positions like Bitcoin and Ethereum. You're chasing the, the pumps, and then at some point you're gonna probably wish you were back in Bitcoin or Ethereum whenever the Ethereum tsunami occurs or Bitcoin capitulates. Either scenario, or Bitcoin goes into price discovery, right, and goes above 50k or something. Any of those three scenarios, you would be you would probably wish you had a larger Bitcoin and Ethereum position. So if you are playing the altcoin casino, which is not something I recommend, okay, not something I recommend, um, I'm more than happy sitting on my positions and not FOMOing in now. So it's not something I recommend. But if I were to offer any type of advice for those people who do, you know, getting in and getting out is, is you know, get a you could get a position and if you see it pump right you could systematically take profits but it's a dangerous game to play it's so dangerous right now because of of the nature you know the market the current market conditions so what i would be doing you know in a scenario like that which i would probably never find myself in if i did buy say an altcoin you know and and i saw it go up i would then probably i you know fairly quickly start taking profits to ethereum Bitcoin or USD, right? And we, we keep talking about this in videos. I'm sure I'll get criticized for repetition, but it's important and a lot of people need to hear it. So if you if you buy an altcoin, systematically protecting yourself as it, if it moves up and as it moves up, protecting yourself by putting it in other assets, not assuming that it's going to keep going up 100, 200% for, you know, every single day for the next five, year, five years or something, which is a lot, what a lot of people think. That's not generally how the markets work. Um, but this could go on for several more weeks for all we know. I think, again, as I said before, I don't think this is the peak of the market cycle, but I think we are probably getting, I don't think we're there yet, I'll, I'll say that. I could be wrong, but I don't think we're at peak local top euphoria quite yet. But as I said before, I don't think it's that many weeks away. 
Okay, I don't think it's that far away. And what's crazy is we could have a lull for a week in between mania phases. You know, I mean, imagine imagine if Bitcoin were to come back down uh, to say 42, 43K or something, and then people start to think, oh, wait, the show's over. And then, and then it actually then picks back up or, or maybe just goes steady. This could further fuel a mania phase in the altcoin market, okay? This, make no mistake about it, is an altcoin casino. Again, you can make money, you can lose money in the same way you would you might do in a in a real casino, right? It, it's it's not rational investing. Uh, the time for rational investing came and went a, a while back. Okay, a long time ago. The time for that has come and gone. Um, if you're new and that frustrates you, my encouragement to you would be to be very responsible during this phase. Um, and if you can make some money, then I you know I, I wish you the best. Uh, but whenever things calm down. Stick around, stick around. See what happens in the market when things are calmer, when when people are, are scared. That's where the real money is made. Remember, bull markets can make you money, bear markets can make you rich. If you wanna know how I'm handling the markets, check out the altcoin season sale. You can find a link to the premium list sale in the description below. Lock in the lower rate. We're gonna stay here for the entire duration of the market cycle and beyond. We also talk about other things besides crypto. You know, if you are taking profits, as I said, some people will take profits to USD, some to Ethereum, some to Bitcoin. If you're taking them to USD or a stable coin, we talk about the, the ways you can earn interest on your stable coins. If you're taking it to USD and you want to add a crypto, we talk about other asset classes like you know mutual funds, ETFs, other places you can diversify the, the, your newfound wealth so that if crypto crashes by 50% or something, you're not out 50% of your net worth. Okay, so... Subscribe to the channel, check out the premium list altcoin season sale if you're interested in that sort of thing. If you're not, perfectly fine, but I would encourage you to come up with a plan. Okay, come up with a plan. As they say, failing to plan is planning to fail. I know it's cliche, but it's true. So subscribe to the subscribe to the content, to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, turn on your alerts. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.